Hi, and welcome back. Over the last number of weeks, we've been speaking to you about digital transformation and our passion to use digital transformation to help improve your business processes. Digital transformation is quickly becoming something that is a necessity. It's becoming commoditized and without access to it, you will be left behind. This dovetails very interestingly into another area of concern for us, which is the digital divide and how digital transformation or the lack of it will leave those people that are caught behind in the digital divide in even a worse scenario than before. Please stick around if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the digital divide and what you can do to help improve it. Straight and simple, the digital divide describes the gap that exists between those that have access to technology and those that do not. This can be along the lines of things such as internet access, but it can also include such things as laptops, desktops, cell phones, printers, or any other piece of technology. The digital divide is not just along geographical lines, so it's not necessarily a contrast of wealthy versus poor countries. It can also be along gender, race, or even within specific demographics. So, for example, in the United States, there's a digital divide that exists between those that live in the city and those that live out in less developed areas in the country. The problem with the digital divide is it gives unfair advantage to those that have access to better technology, even if those that don't have it would like to have it. And along the same lines of digital transformation, it's very difficult to transform the way that you do processes if you don't have access to the technology. So already you can see there's not a level playing field. So what do you ask can you or your business do to help bridge the digital divide and help provide a more level playing field and better equity for our societies. First and foremost, and probably the most simple, is to donate your old devices. It's surprising because in many cases in the corporate world, we think that the life cycle of a computer is three years. However, computers, laptops, cell phones can actually last a lot longer than that. So by clearing off our data, securely deleting whatever's on them, and then giving them to organizations that help recycle them, we're really providing advantages for others. The second method in which you can help out is to volunteer for digital literacy programs. There are dozens of these available across different geographies and different countries, and there's different ways that you can help out. It really depends on the organization. You want to reach out to them to see what kind of needs that they have. But this is something that can be done on an individual level or on a company level. The third way that you can help out is advocating for high-speed internet in your local community. This goes back to the old saying of think globally, but act locally. By advocating in your local community, you can make sure that everyone has access to the same tools. Internet access is an absolutely basic need at this point in time. The fourth way to help close the gap of the digital divide is to donate to organizations that are dedicated to doing just this. There, as I mentioned above, there are many different organizations available that are providing different types of services to help do this. You should think about doing this on an individual or on a company level. The fifth and final way that you can assist is by being a responsible digital citizen. By minding your digital footprint and making sure that you're using resources responsibly, you're allowing others to have access to resources. By hogging resources to the contrary, then you're limiting access for others. So being a responsible digital citizen is absolutely essential. Here at BACS, we care deeply about the digital divide and how it impacts our journey down the road of digital transformation. If you'd like to learn more about how we can assist you in learning more about what you can do to close the gap of the digital divide, or if you'd like to learn more about how we can help you improve your digital transformation process, please reach out. And if you like what you heard today, please subscribe to our channel.